going to breakfast. No. This is our breakfast spot. Every morning we've sat here and had apple pancake. This is muesli with apple. And this is apple juice. Can you tell we're at an apple farm? Making a little brace for your arm, Charlotte. Oh, that's nice. That is plan B on saving my wrist because yesterday big tape didn't work out good and because I don't want to rest and be able to do stuff. We got a nice nature brace. I'm up here cleaning the root of Josh and there are a lot of people walking below. All the trackers doing the Annapurna tour. We're calling it the roadside cliff, where there was a few lines that really stuck out. There was this big multi-pitch line, but we didn't have enough bolts to do the whole thing. And, but below the multi-pitch line, the first pitch is this like amazing root that kind of like swoops like a little, I don't know, how do you call it, Charlotte? A little corner, a little ret, little curve. And it has all these holes with jugs inside of them. So it's a unique feature to climb and the whole thing just follows this line of holes. About to try the new root. With my wooden arm. <laughs> It's a really unique line for this area because we haven't seen any holes like that, and especially holes with big jugs. And the whole line follows all these holes, 30 meters to the end of the line. And it, while I was bolting it, I was thinking this might be my most favorite line I've ever bolted. And maybe my favorite route that I've ever climbed in that grade. Sea of holes. So 7B, 7B plus. Walking through the woods to go label. The last boulder, ah, the last root. So we bolted two lines. One was one we called Sea of Holes, and the other we called Buddha Said No, which was the first route we bolted after the rock bombs. Um, and it follows this really nice white stripe through a slab, then a steep section, and then a slab again. And it just, I don't know, it's a nice line. It kind of pops out when you look at the cliff. This is uh, Buddha Said No, 7A plus to the first anchor, and then Buddha Said Maybe, Project estimated 8A plus 8B last anchor. We built the two lines on the roadside cliff. It, really, the whole cliff has so much potential. Um, slab, overhang, multi pitch, really hard to really easy. Charlotte can't really climb or bolt because of her wrist injury in her right hand, and she's right handed, so things are a lot easier when you can do it with your dominant hand. We are probably gonna call our trip a little short here just on the fact that really we're out of bolt, so there's not much more for us to do other than try to go send the project, but it would be more fun if Charlotte could try it with me, so it's our style to leave a project in every area that we've bolted, which is actually true every place we've bolted in every country we've left one project or more um, for locals or for us to come back to so the buddha said no is a project so we remembered those big slabs we saw the first day we walked around and we just went for it with the goal of going to the top by climbing the hardest way as possible.